Hello Internet, you can call me Alec and welcome to Character Discussion. Today we'll be talking about Noob Saba from Mortal Kombat. He first appeared in 1993 in the original Mortal Kombat 2 as a secret combatant. No, no, what y'all might be thinking. Alec, what the hell? He's a secret combatant. Well, back in the early days of Mortal Kombat, the first two or three had secret characters that were only like miniature mini bosses that can only be encountered when specific demands was needed. The tradition first started in the original Mortal Kombat with everyone's favorite lizard man reptile. That one, sometimes when you're playing on the pit stage, this has to be in original arcade mode by the way, a character will fly by the moon. Could be a witch, Santa, who knows. When that happens, you must get a double flawless victory and do the stage fatality where you uppercut the person into off the platform and into the spikes below. Then you will be taken to a secret fight versus a green ninja named Reptile who had both Sub-Zero and Scorpion's moveset. You wouldn't get anything but extra points and bragging rights but that's what that is. And then two, Mortal Kombat 2 had Noob Saba. I'm not entirely familiar with how you encounter his secret combatant fight, but he was there. I believe Smoke was also starting off a secret combatant in Mortal Kombat 2, but I'm not 100% sure on that. And no, I don't mean robot smoke. I mean the human ninja smoke. <clears throat> it would go on to be playable in the console version of Mortal Kombat 3 Ultimate in 1996. Yeah, three years later. We have to wait three years before we get to actually play as the mysterious pitch black ninja. Noob Saba is actually Bihan, aka the original Sub-Zero, who was killed by Scorpion. After his death, his soul was corrupted and became a raft. And now, what exactly what he wants and what he's doing changes depending on the game. But it's usually something along the lines of ruling another realm. Like... I am the king in another realm, and I am the biggest, baddest demon in all of hell. <laughs> that kind of shit. <clears throat> and yes, he does actually have a deep voice like that. He's the Mortal Kombat X Lord, who slowly keeps getting more and more power, powerful over the years. I don't know if it's intentional, or is it just a coincidence? But I tell you what, back in the olden days, like Mortal Kombat 3, you was a bitch. You could easily just, if you knew what you were doing. But nowadays, as a person who's been playing Mortal Kombat since the first one, I struggle to fight noob. Noob also has various forms. You have the classic ninja noob, the weird deception noob smoke combination, the modern noob with the shadow clone thing, yep that's the four noobs. Three new, four, I don't know. He never appeared in the movies. 
but I, he does appear in a lot of the games. Unlike some of the other characters, Noob has always been pure evil. Some characters go from good to evil, or from evil to good over the years, but Noob has always been pure evil. Him, Kano, Shang Tsung, Shao Kahn, all of those are character examples of characters who've always been pure evil. And Noob is one of them. Hell, even his sidekick in Deception I'm Getting Smoke has bounced between good and evil over the years. He really hates the modern Zero and thinks that because he's his younger brother, he has no right to be, take on the Zero name. And is extremely disappointed in Noob Salbot. And since we're talking about Noob Salbot and Sub Zero, we might as well talk about the actual Sub Zero. I do not know his a name. I do, but I, I don't. You know, it's one of those where it's like I know it, but I have to hear it again or read it again to remember. Sub-Zero has been in every Mortal Kombat since 1. Mortal Kombat 1. And he's the only character who's been in every Mortal Kombat since Mortal Kombat 1. He's also the only character who's had his own spin-off game. Yes, there was Shaolin Monks that was a spin-off game that's like an action platform of Gore Fest. But that was starring Liu Kang and Kong Rao. Sub-Zero's game was purely focused on him and his adventures. He didn't have a little sidekick. He didn't have other hidden unlockable characters. It was just Sub-Zero versus the world. Zeb Zero has a love-hate relationship with Scorpion. Yes, they're bitter rivals that often try to kill each other. But they're also friends. Like, good friends. That's the way it was originally. But their clans wouldn't allow them to be friends. So they've always been bitter enemies that try to kill each other. But behind closed doors, they're... The bros, you know? And... It's the same Scorpion from the first one. It's a difference of zero from the first one. Because Bihan was the sub zero from the first game. The new sub zero, the one we know, didn't come in until round three. Or two, probably three. And there's also a Cyber Zip Zero, but he's only in Mortal Kombat 9 and a hidden variant in Mortal Kombat X. So, yeah. And that is where I'm getting in today's video. If you liked it, then leave a like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye!